Mm. Dang, that's good. Tiramisu is the creamy Italian dessert of your dreams and I promise it's easier to make than it looks. We're gonna make this indulgent, rich dessert with just these ingredients. It doesn't take a lot. We're gonna start out by making a custard, like a vanilla pudding, just egg yolks and sugar and a little milk. There are shortcuts you can take here if this intimidates you. Vanilla pudding mix, stir in some mascarpone cheese at the end, and you've got the filling. But it's my job to teach you, and today I'm just gonna show you that you can cook tiramisu. We'll start with six egg yolks in a saucepan. No need to toss the egg whites. You can use those for omelets. To the egg yolks, we'll add three quarter cup of sugar and whisk away. And then we're just gonna add some milk. We're gonna cook this over medium heat, whisking constantly until it comes to a boil, and then we'll let it boil for one minute until it's nice and thick. We're gonna cover it and refrigerate it until it's completely cool. I go ahead and add it to the bowl because I'm gonna stir in the mascarpone cheese later. That creamy pudding is combined with whipped cream to create the filling, which makes this the creamy Italian dessert of your dreams. And we're gonna do that by making freshly whipped cream. All it is is heavy cream and a little vanilla. You can do this. If you insist, you can purchase a pack of Cool Whip. You wanna beat your cream until it's got nice stiff peaks. Two components down, our final component to go. Today I'm using a really strongly brewed coffee. You can use espresso, which is probably more classic here, but who has an espresso maker? So I brewed some coffee extra strong, and then I'm gonna stir in some dark rum. You could also use something like Kahlua in place of both of these, you know, if you want it extra boozy. Ladyfingers are easy to find and they're super inexpensive. They're sort of like a soft biscotti with a little bit of a sugar coating. These absorb super quickly, so you wanna kinda work fast here because you don't want them to be super soggy. I like the more intense coffee flavor in my tiramisu. If you don't want it so strong, you can just kinda sprinkle the coffee mixture over your lady fingers. And now we're going to stir in our mascarpone cheese into our yolk mixture. We're gonna put half of this creamy yolk layer then half of our whipped cream, and then we do it all again. Mm. Looking good. Now the hard part is the waiting. You have to let all of these layers of flavor marry together. So in the fridge it goes for at least four hours, preferably overnight, but of course we can't wait that long. See you soon. The time has come. We're gonna dust the top with some cocoa powder. Now this is an essential ingredient. You know, chocolate and coffee just are like peanut butter and jelly. I just don't know why I don't make this more often. It's so beautiful, it's so easy, it's perfect for company. Let's dig in. Perfect bite. Mm. Dang, that's good. It's like I wanna say something in Italian, but all I know are bad words. I'm telling you, you'll bring the Italian restaurant home with this creamy, dreamy dessert. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed for more You Can Cook That. And as always, let me know in the comments below what you wanna see me do next. In the meantime, when it comes to classic tiramisu, you can cook that. This tiramisu, <laughs> I can tell Josh is already laughing at me trying to talk Italian. <laughs> What? <laughs> I can just... <laughs> uh.